So today I have decided let's not focus on the scripting methods and all that. Let's learn something new, okay, which is very useful uh, in the day-to-day -day activity when using a ServiceNow instance. So today we'll be talking about there is one feature in ServiceNow called Document Viewer. So Document Viewer enables you to view document directly in the Now platform rather than downloading uh, them and then opening it out. So couple of times so when we want to see some attachment on the instance which is um, attached on incident record or problem record. So the basic step what we follow is like key, we will first go to the attachment, we will download that attachment, then it will get download, then we will open that attachment and other things. If we want to see that attachment again and again, so it leads to couple of downloads or we have to store those particular documents in a particular folder so that we can have a memorized over there right instead of we, don't you feel it will be really easy to manage the things if we can see that particular document within a service now instance itself right so today we will see how we can enable this feature okay so this feature is supported by uh, uh, where this document is supported by any Microsoft Word document, PowerPoint, Excel, PDF, image, text, you can see any kind of document. Uh, if I'm telling any kind of document, don't take me seriously. You can't read zip or exe file, okay? Okay, these files are automatically downloaded, okay, if it's get attached. Okay, so let's move ahead and see. So this is our instance when we logged into the system. It's now the common practice uh, which we are following on a day-to-day -day activity. So first of all, you should keep one thing in mind. You should log in by via admin user. This is common sense, right? <laughs> we have the privilege to do some kind of this kind of funny activities uh, when we have admin role only. So now we have a plugin which we have to enable to enable this feature. So yeah, it's not a customization, it's a configuration which service now out of the box has provided. Okay, but only few people know about this. Okay, so for the people who don't know how to go to the plugins and enable it, so I will show you. Okay, so in the system, um, in the application navigator, type plugins. Okay, sorry, I plugins and under system definition module you can see um, uh, system definition application you can see a module called plugin so open this application so what this app plugin module does okay so plugin module is uh, what we can say it's a library of plugins okay which can provide an additional feature when we when we install it on a instance right some of the plugins are free to use some of them are paid but thank god today with the plugin which we are looking into is completely free okay so you can use it wherever you want so once we went over there so just type document viewer okay because document viewer and this is the id for that it's com.snc.documentviewer so this is the id okay it's free okay and it's by service now itself and you can read over here, right? So what did exactly document viewer is a platform feature. Okay, it's a service now provided platform feature. So you it's not um, intact to only one table or any. It's a platform feature that will enable user to view enterprise class documents in line within the platform. What is enterprise class document? It's like a standard format document like Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, PDF, image, text. Okay instead of downloading it to the local device and opening the document with local okay so i will not go into that as i have already explained you so you just go to install then it will take some time it will first activate ask you to do you want to activate it yes i want to activate that's why i'm creating this tutorial right so it will take some time few seconds to get it installed on the system so let's wait <laughs> so i'm planning that um i will go through the service now tutorials okay scripting side as well as i will show you this kind of interesting things okay whenever it's possible for me 
so as you can see now we got a success message service now document viewer was so now we have installed the plugin right so uh, if you are thinking that just installing by just installing the plugin here this document viewer feature will be enabled and we can see the document without downloading it out so I don't think it's possible okay because it's an express feature you have to enable it on table okay so before that let's try it out okay how it looks so again we will go to the incident table okay and what I will do I will open all all incident okay let's open this incident which we were using in the past right and again we can see there are only two options over here rename and download so the only way right now also is to download the document and then we can uh, then we can open the document from the from the system itself okay so how to enable this out on the record on the table okay so for this just we have to do one thing okay go just go to the dictionary under system definition we can see the dictionary okay just go to the dictionary in the dictionary just type the table name on which you want to enable this feature out okay so for us it's incident right so on incident just go for the table record the first one how you can find the table record which has a type of collection go to that record it's incident and in this particular record on the related list we can see a tab called attributes okay so right now it has three attributes has workflow email client live feeds whatever so click on new as soon as you click on new the dictionary entry will get filled with incident and we have to attribute two fields over there attributes and value so in the attribute one you just select use document viewer okay so this particular attribute is enabled by that plugin itself so if you are trying to do it before even installing the plugin this particular option will not be available okay so it's use document viewer and we want to enable it out right so we will give it the value as true okay this will enable if we make it false it will disable it out okay so i will save this record the record got saved if i move back back so now you can see on the attributes there are four attributes now okay the one of the attribute which we have recently added is to use document viewer now let's go to the incident form again now we have the same incident form I will now reload the form so you can see right now there are two options rename and download okay let's reload the form uh, I have reload the form and now you can see the difference the download option got replaced with the view button okay view option so now let's see how what this view is doing okay so something got changed okay on the UI okay let's see now as soon as I clicked on view no document got downloaded okay instead of what instead of that a pop-up arised okay and in that pop-up we can see the document but most of you uh, if you are thinking oh now what if I want to download it out okay whether I have lost the provision download here no you can download it also okay so over here we can see there is an option to download okay using this option we can download that document also the way it was acting previously okay so this is how this feature works okay uh, uh, for me this is really an important feature this feature has some limitations okay so the limitations we can't say it as limitations also so uh, this does this particular feature does not support files which are over 50 MB of size okay so I don't think there is any kind of document file which will cross this limit okay so it will not uh, open any files which are over 50 MB of limit so it doesn't support feed ramp instances it doesn't support on premises instances okay and uh, it doesn't support encryption support so suppose you have some uh, file which is password protected okay so you can you can um, ask the system to decrypt that password out okay for you and uh, make it visible to everyone right it's not possible so these are not I can't say this is a limitations okay but this has some not supported thing document viewer not does not support these things okay so 
this is all for this video thank you all for staying with us okay like follow subscribe press the bell icon stay with us i will try to come up with more such videos okay uh, on service now and uh, if you need some videos from my side okay which please drop your comments in the comment box and the next video will be yours okay thank you and have a nice day